Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. In the last episode, Colorado, well, Professor Colorado pretty much basically killed himself by jumping off this ledge here. So, as far as we know, we will never see him ever again for the rest of this game. And personally, I, personally, I don't mind that because he was one of those shallow characters that falls into the, you know, trope of getting themselves into trouble just so the hero can rescue them, which is pretty typical. But nevertheless, I'm pretty sure it's not true. He's probably not actually dead. He's probably fine. So let's just go find out. Although I, I quiver at the idea of doing this because, well, oh, do we have to jump? I'm not a big fan of jumping down and not knowing where I'm gonna land, but I guess we have to. Yep, here we are. Oh, we were just up here, or just down here, I should say. And we have to. Okay, fine, whatever. We'll fight. We will fight for our lives here, because we have to. Oh yeah, multi-bounce. Um, that's going to be one of the badges I'm actually going to remove in this episode, because I actually want to modify my badges a little bit before I take on this boss coming up here, because speaking of this boss... Um, okay, let's try this. Oh, not bad. I did actually did pretty good amount of damage, but anyways... I am not looking forward to this boss coming up here. I've seen videos on this boss fight recently, and it's not not a happy sign for me, because it actually... That boss looks pretty difficult, looking at the videos. I never fought this boss before in my life, you know, as you know, but I guess it's also part of the reason why I'm not looking forward to it. It's because I wouldn't know the best, you know, way to handle it. Oh, hello. Don't mind me, Mario, just investigating this floor a bit more closely, you go on ahead. Oh, my aching. Okay. I guess he's fine after all. He's not dead. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to make our way back up there. Hopefully avoid this prawn in the process. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? So, let's try jumping in sort of the middle so we can upgrade a partner and we can land just on that block down there. Oh, I just barely missed it. Shoot. I thought it was, like, directly in the middle. Apparently it isn't. Okay, let's try this again. A little further. Is this it? Yep, that's it. Alright. So, we will upgrade... Uh, uh, so, we've already upgraded all our partners, have we? Yes, we have. At least all of our current partners. So, uh, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade... Watts. Actually, I should... No, actually, we'll be fine with just upgrading Watt. I think this boss could... A uh, Watt could actually be useful against this boss. I've been told Watt and Sushi are probably the best bosses for... Or best partners for this boss. So I probably should have upgraded uh, Sushi first instead of Power Carry. But you know what? That's fine. Par uh, Sushi's already upgraded anyways. So, with that, we're going to, once again, for the final time, hopefully make our way back up there. Now, also, as you know, we also picked up the Ultra Hammer in the last episode, and interestingly enough, someone actually told me in the comments that you can apparently actually reveal... Oh, shoot. Oh, God. The game actually did some of the running for you, actually, give you a running star. Oh, God. You can tell if, like, Watt got hit there, and if, I'm, if so, I'm really sorry, Watt. Hope you're okay, buddy. You look like you're okay. But, yeah, um... Can anyone, can, I don't... Okay, I'm not going to ask anyone to confirm that, because obviously it, it's only like one person that told me, so... Um, but given that it's only one person, I'm going to basically kind of uh, test that out in this episode. At least I'd like to. So, since I have the Ice Spy badge on, I can, you know, just wait for Mario to... Have we already done this room? I can't tell... Well, I, I'm pretty sure we have, because we haven't encountered that Spike... You know, that Thwomp-like creature yet, so obviously we haven't been to yet. And I still have the Ice Power Badge on, so I can jump on this enemy here. I also have to know that uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not spoiling anything when I say that the boss of this chapter is indeed uh, fire-based. So, obviously, we're going to want to keep the Ice Power Badge for this boss fight. But, uh, as for what other badges we want, I want to re-equip a uh, peek boo Badge, because I really don't like the fact that I'm not able to see my... You know, enemies HP bars as we fight them, so that's gonna have to happen. Um, wait, I don't think Watt's a good idea. Water's a 
Watt is a... Uh, no, he's electrified. What does this move do? Mega Shock. If it works, paralyze all enemies with an electric shock. Okay, we're not going to do that when there's only one enemy, so we'll just go ahead and do a regular attack. So you're electricity, so therefore that should not... Because you don't want to use fire against fire. Because that's one thing I learned in... Uh, oh, okay, never mind. That was a bad idea. As a result, we got Watt injured, so we're going to go ahead and do power bounce here. Okay, there we go, that's... That was spice enough to kill that enemy. Luckily, since partners don't have HP in this game, Watt did not actually take any damage, at least in the, not in the field, so we're fine. Okay, now we need to go ahead and jump on this again. Because you know how much I love these, you know, fire chains or whatever they're called. Okay, so I have a really, really interesting story to tell you guys, and it's not a fun one. And the ending basically amounts to me wasting a bunch of money on something that I didn't really need to do. But, essentially, I was not able to record tonight until I took care of this. So, here's what happens. Um, on my setup at my apartment, I have two monitors on my computer. And, uh, are you gonna get spiked? Are you gonna hurt if we do this? Yep, that works, okay. So yeah, on my, I have two monitors set up on my computer at my apartment. That's how my setup at my apartment is. And recently, um, last week when my girlfriend came over, and this, this had nothing to do with her being over, but it just so happened that well, it's at, during the time that she was over here, um, one of my monitors, like, seemingly stopped working, like, seemingly, like, I turned on my computer, and originally I thought my computer wasn't working, so actually, that had me kind of worried, why I brought up sushi, but, uh, but yeah, basically, oh, jeez, nine damage? That's a lot more than I thought, actually, I was, I was expecting to only do, like, six or so, but yeah, that's, dang, that's good. So, yeah, I... And with the setup of having two monitors, what I do is I have, you know, one main monitor and then one that, you know, just kind of can, can have applications running on in the background, so, but, but I can still see them while doing stuff on my main monitor. And one of the things I do on my second monitor, that's, uh, that's not the main one, is I do my recordings and I work on my videos on it. And since I thought that one of the monitors stopped working, because I did, I went through the trouble of actually doing a system restore when I, when I originally thought it was my computer that stopped working. And when I finally found out that it was just the monitor that was the issue, I immediately assumed that the monitor was broken and it did not work because it, it, it was using HDMI input to work on my computer. And so... I assumed that the monitor itself wasn't working because I ruled out the fact that my computer was was not was working. Or it was. I ruled out that it was not that my computer was not. Oh god, I might be dead here. Shoot. Yep, I'm dead. Shoot. I didn't save either. Wow. Okay then. Guess I have to replay back up to where we were. Okay, I think we're right back over here. Right? Back where we were, it only took me like five minutes, which was basically half the time it took me in the actual episode to get here. And we are so close to level up that I'm not giving up on this battle. So I'm going to start with the PAL block to start things right here. Plus I'll get two of those enemies on the ground, which will prevent me from taking too much damage here. Plus we can use Cooper's Power Shell. There! That's a much better run of that battle. Of course not over yet. It's only half over. Of course, it'd be nice if I learned how to time these dodges. Like, jeez, these guys are really getting me. Very much so. Okay. So, like I was saying, uh, once I figured out that my computer was working just fine, or, uh, well, sort of, we'll get into that later, um, 
I had once again assumed that the monitor wasn't working. So I went on to uh, just just use one monitor, and I had the other one that I assumed wasn't working just sit, kind of sitting there doing nothing. Well, later on this week, in fact, actually just tonight, when I finally um, reattempted to record, I'm going to go ahead and do badge points here. I learned that, like, okay, so for some reason, since I usually use my, my, uh, you know, Pinkle Studio recordings on my, what's it called, the, on my other, on the main, the second monitor, jeez, why can't I say this right? Since I have the, my recordings on the second monitor, oh, uh, shoot. I really need to focus here, and I'm trying to tell a story, and this is just the absolute worst time to do it. <sighs> okay. Since my recordings were on the main, the second monitor, which was the one to the right, and the one that was on the right became the one on the main monitor, because the, the monitor that's on the left, which is my main monitor, is the one that wasn't working, that means that the computer thought that I was still doing recordings on the right monitor, but the right monitor was the main monitor at this point. So, basically, I was unable to reach Pinnacle Studio because I would open it up and it would be so far off to the right that I could not reach it on the monitor with the mouse. So, um, I had to try all sorts of different things to get Pinnacle Studio up here. Why can't I time this jump right? Jeez, I was doing just fine just a moment ago, literally. It's driving me crazy that I can't do this right. Ah, whatever, we'll still survive. But it drives me crazy that we just leveled up and now we're already almost halfway dead here. Probably should have gone for HP, because now I can't get this right. Okay, there we go. Now, let's finish these guys off for crying out loud. I'm so sick of them. Are they done yet? No, not quite. Freaking poison. Okay, there we go. Let's finish this guy off for crying out loud. I already said that, didn't I? Yeah, I did, whatever. The 19 star points are very good. So, anyways, I was not able to reach Pinnacle Studio, and I had to try a bunch of different things to finally make it, you know, available, or viewable, or should I say reachable. Because if I couldn't reach it, then I couldn't record. Mario, wait, wait one minute. One moment. <sighs> According to the information I've gathered, the hidden treasure should be right around here, but I need to go a little, a little farther. Yeah? Treasure will chop treasure. I can almost taste it. I tell you, the moment when you find the treasure is without a doubt the finest moment in archaeology. Uh, you're so green, it's not even funny. Good sir. So basically, I push this block all the way to the left here in order to reach the top where all those ultra where those uh, metal blocks are now we can hammer through them and reach that womp which is going to actually help us this time instead of against danger so there you go that's basically how this room works okay very very simple stuff here make sure you're ready to make a run for it though okay wait wait actually want to keep on going here so we can watch it destroy the wall here oh god and watch it fly in Colorado. Okay, I got admit that was without. Nah, I shouldn't say. It. I don't like watching characters being paints unless they're like you know and you know antagonists. But still, it's just uh, barely next to me, old boy. Oh, my poor shell. Ow. Yeah, you're all right. You're fine, Colorado. Okay, so this might be my chance here. But I'm all, if I'm also not mistaken. Wait, okay, no, no, it's not here. I thought, the, for some reason, I thought this was the, with the boss in it. Close, so very close. My treasure hunting senses are going simply mad right now. My intuition tells me it's over here. Yeah? Alrighty then. You go on ahead, good sir. I'm gonna heal up right here. And thankfully, since we had the level, we also, you know, filled up our star power, so we'll get there as well. Um. This might be a time where I need to stop the episode. Okay, well, actually, I haven't been able to finish the story yet, so we might have to have just a 
kind of a long episode here. So, basically, um, I had to set the monitor to portrait. Like, I had to change around the settings and whatnot and set it to portrait. And once I did that, then... Mario's still approaching. Identified as searching for Star Spirit. Code Red reports a boss. Alert, alert. Um, I'm not looking for the Star Spirit. There's no Star Spirit searching going on here. Definitely not. Oh, shoot, I'm worried. I'm, I'm really worried that the boss is going to be... Oh, wait. Okay, so actually... First, I kind of want to do the spin jump around in this room in order to find out where it is, and then I can try the Ultra Hammer on it. Because if this, if the Ultra Hammer can do it, then that's pretty awesome. Because again, I'm not really good with the spin jump. Because I mean, I'm doing just doing it just fine here, but I just don't know, man. So yeah, by using the portrait thing, I managed to make Pinkle Studio itself reappear on the screen, but. Holy crap, you can! That is awesome. Okay, so now we don't have to do that spin jump anymore. So, wait, can it also, like, make it... Okay, good. It can also show you where it is, too. That's good. That's very good. Holy crap. Okay. So... I managed to make Pinnacle Studio view, uh, accessible, but, however, the importer was still appearing on the wrong screen, which is the, you know, it's, or not the wrong screen, but still way too far to the left for me to reach it. So I went off to Walmart and I bought a new monitor, because at this point I realized that the only way I was going to get imports to appear again was to do that, because I tried Task Manager, I tried multiple different things to get it to reappear, and I couldn't. I, I think the only other option would have been to uninstall and reinstall Pinnacle Studio, but that wouldn't have worked either, so... Well, it would have worked, but I didn't. I don't, I don't have the disc for it, so yeah. I assume that that was the only other way to get it to fix it. So I ended up going to Walmart and buying a new laptop, and then I came home and saw the new laptop in place of the old one, which I assume wasn't working. But then that also wasn't appearing, and I'm seriously worried the boss is gonna be in here. I'm not ready for the boss. I'm so not ready for this. Okay. I'm actually really convinced that the boss is not is in here, so I don't want to do this quite yet. I don't want to go in this room quite yet. Like, I'm seriously worried the boss is going to be in here, so... What I want to do is I want to go back up here to where Colorado was. Okay, so... Anyways... Uh, we got some mind blocks here. Yes! Super Shroom. Maple syrup. These are really good items, actually. I'm really glad I... God, what the boss is... Okay, no, this is not it. Oh, huh? There seems to be nothing. Alas, even my finely boned intuition can be a wrong conclusion. Okay, I shall not give up. Let's head back to the other way. Deeper down the volcano. So yes, we've seen the room where the boss is, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to end off the episode here. Long story short, I brought the monitor home, I installed it, and then it still wasn't showing up. And then, I, and then what I did was I reached back to my desktop, and I messed around with the HDMI cable. Finally, it popped up on Mars. So basically, simply put, I wasted $120 and gained the new monitor because the old one was working just fine. All I had to do was move the HDMI cable, like, kind of, like, you know, really push that HDMI cable into the back of the desktop. And that's all I had to do. It is working just fine. Basically, I wasted a crap ton of money just so I could record tonight. And honestly, I was really pissed off for most of this night. It's. Anyways, we're gonna end things off here. See you guys tomorrow, or not tomorrow. Why do I keep on saying that? I really hate that I keep on saying that. Tomorrow for Kirby 7 Gun, but not for more of this. See you guys on Friday when we fight the boss of Chapter 5. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to this, but we're gonna, before we do, we're going to adjust our badges a little bit, so we'll do that next time. See you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.